For colon cancer, you have to ask yourself, or is uh, did the person underwent some form of procedure? So, um, nagkaroon ba siya ng operation, radiation, chemo? So, usually patient to have undergone some form of treatment, okay, these are the people that are very difficult to treat because the body has some form of resistance, nagkakaroon sila ng resistance, mas matapang yung cancer cells, they're more virulent, so it's more difficult to treat this type of uh, patient. Now, if the patient is a virgin patient, okay, virgin, mean the, it means that... Mean they, they come to you untreated before, untreated, no chemo, no radiation, no surgical intervention. A lot better. Much better. A lot better. They are a lot better responsive to natural medicine compared to those that have undergone. Now, how do you treat them? Of course, for me, if a patient comes to me, I change the diet first. So if there's some form of obstruction, uh, I let the patient drink of, uh, a flu, not fluid, liquid. Okay, wag muna na solid kasi mahirap pag nag-solid, nagbara. So if there's an obstruction, there's going to be a, uh, an operation again. So you can see another operation if it has undergone some form of obstruction. So it's better not to eat foods that are very tough to digest. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ano ba yung mga very tough to digest? Meat. Very tough to digest. Okay? But if you can eat meat as well if you liquefy the meat. So pwede rin naman as long as you liquefy them. Yun lang kasi pagka nagkaroon na ka na ng colon cancer, yung mga pagkain na hindi mo masyado that you have not chewed properly, it can get stuck, okay? So you change the diet. Well, right? oftentimes doctors are giving folks the advice of, you know, if you have, if you have cancer, don't eat, don't eat red meat. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a, and I'll, you're, I know you plan on publishing it here very, very soon, but there was a 2004 Harvard study that looked at over 1 million people and found, and found no elevated risk as far as cancer is concerned by eating red meat. Mm -hmm. But what they did find Mm -hmm. as a significant elevated risk by eating those processed, processed meats. Yeah, like hot dog, bacon. And, and why is that? Yes, yes because meron siyang, meron siyang ano, uh, substance in, that, in, in the processed meat that can cause cancer. Uh, nitrates, yan, diba? and nitrates can cause cancer. Most of them associated with um, stomach cancer. So, hindi maganda. So, anyway, let's go back. Si Sir Sorry. Jack. Sir Jack is... Uh, um, messing me. <laughs> My apologies. So let's go back to colon cancer. If you have colon cancer and it went to the liver, so the most important uh, um, herb there is garlic. Garlic and guyabano. So garlic and guyabano. And of course, ginger. Sanskrit, di ba? Sinabi ko na sa inyo. Universal medicine. So yun ang pwede nyo yung uh, inumin as herb. And Boston C, Megadose, Vitamin C, and uh, Pixidas. You know, yesterday I was talking to one patient in uh, in Facebook. She she was Megadose and she was taking three tablespoons of Boston C twice a day. And she was taking uh, Vitamin C for like uh, two tablespoons twice a day as well. And now she bench and presses <laughs> Chevy Suburbans. <laughs> and she said that <laughs> she feels so good. Okay, so kilala niya si Butchoy. Hello daw, Butchoy. Yun ang sinasabi niya. So, you know, you, you can, it's not gonna help. It's not gonna uh, hurt you if you do mega dosing as well. Especially if it's just for short term. Hindi naman siya long term eh. Anything that you take in long term, medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng problema. But if you take it in short term mega dosing, it's very good for you. Your body just removes it.